From scrambled egg festivals to monkey buffets, it's safe to say that there are some rather weird and wonderful traditions that take place around the world. Welcome, fellow adventurers, to a world filled with peculiar traditions and extraordinary celebrations. From the heart-pounding baby jumping festival in Spain to the messy and exhilarating La Tomatina, we'll take you on a journey to explore 11 of the most bizarre cultural practices that continue to thrive today. So fellow explorers, don't miss out on these captivating cultural experiences. Click like and subscribe and join us on this incredible journey around the globe as we celebrate the weird and wonderful traditions that make our world so delightfully diverse. La Tomatina, Spain. First up is La Tomatina, the largest tomato fight in the world. It's not quite known how it came about, but there are many theories surrounding it. One of the most popular is that during a parade of Gigantes y Cabezudos in 1945, those who weren't included in the event started a brawl in the main square, using tomatoes from a local vegetable stand as weapons. Regardless, this annual festival is held in Buñol, Spain on the last Wednesday of August, as part of a week of festivities in Buñol, and quite literally consists of people throwing tomatoes at each other for fun. Smashing coconuts on people's skulls in India. Breaking coconuts on people's heads is a ritual that has been around for a long time in southern parts of India. Their extreme superstition has caused this to become an obsession, and therefore, despite warnings, they have continued to perform this act that has been around since the colonial period. Devotees to the Hindu religion will gather inside the temple, and the priest will smash a coconut on the head of each of them, one after the other, as a sign to the gods they are asking for good health and success. The subjects will then usually walk away as if unfazed by the event. festival of scrambled eggs in Bosnia. Whereas in the UK, we might celebrate the start of spring by picking some daffodils or doing a spring clean, in Zeneca, Bosnia, they mark the start of the season with an unusual tribute to scrambled eggs known in Bosnia as Simburehada. They start the day as they mean to go on with a large breakfast of eggs cooked in a large pan in a city park near the river. They then spend the rest of the day partying, barbecuing and jumping into the river. So fellow explorers, don't miss out on these captivating cultural experiences. Click like and subscribe and join us on this incredible journey around the globe as we celebrate the weird and wonderful traditions that make our world so delightfully diverse. throwing cinnamon at 25-year-olds in Denmark. In Denmark, if you turn 25 and are unmarried, not only do you have to face Valentine's Day alone, but you also must endure your friends and family submerging you in a cloud of cinnamon. 
This long-standing tradition in Denmark is customary if a man or woman turns 25 and is still single. Firstly, they get splashed with water, and then they get covered from head to toe in cinnamon. It's not a form of punishment, but more just an excuse to be silly with friends and family, and is a tradition that dates back hundreds of years. <laughs> The Monkey Buffet Festival in Thailand. On the last Sunday of November, something rather spectacular, if a little bit strange, happens in Phra Prang Sam Yat Temple in Lotburi, Thailand. A lavish banquet is laid out and a big celebration is held, but not for humans. The feast is held in honor of Lotburi's thousands of macaques that supposedly bring good luck to the area and its occupants, and therefore they are the special guests at this party. The festival includes performances by dancers in monkey costumes during the opening ceremony and towers of fruits and vegetables in which the monkeys climb, jump, and indulge on. Polterabend in Germany. Polterabend, meaning wedding shower, is a unique tradition in Germany that is generally held the day before a bride and groom are due to wed. It's a big party where friends and family gather at the front of the house and smash things on the floor such as plates, flower pots, tiles, anything that makes a lot of noise in order to bring good luck. The only exceptions being glass and mirrors, of course. Once the dish breaking is done, the bride and groom then work together to clean it up as preparation for the future. <laughs>
shoving faces in cake in Mexico. Perhaps one of the best traditions on this list is La Mordida, a Mexican birthday tradition. The birthday girl or boy will have their hands tied behind their back, and when they go to take the first bite of cake, they will have their face pushed right into it whilst the rest of the party guests shout, Mordida, 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 the Spanish word for take a bite. It's particularly important to note here that Mexican cakes are pretty creamy. Battle of the Oranges in Italy Every year on the three days leading up to Mardis Gras, something rather strange takes place in Ivrea, Italy. The residents divide up into nine different squads and dress in battle attire. Then over the next few days, they sling oranges at each other to try and kill the other teams. The origins of this game are unclear, but it has become the largest food fight in Italy, however, not quite as big as La Tomatina yet. Finger cutting of the Danny tribe. Everyone grieves differently after the loss of a loved one, but the women of the Danny tribe in Indonesia have quite a unique and severe way of dealing with grief. When they lose a loved one, the top joint of a woman's finger will be amputated. String will be tightly tied around the finger until it goes numb, and then a family member, often a sibling or parent, will cut off the top of the finger. The wound is then burnt to stop the bleeding and prevent infection. The process is carried out to symbolize the pain suffered after the loss of a loved one and to keep the deceased person's spirit away. Baby tossing in India. You may want to sit down for this one. In India, they have a ritual that involves throwing newborn babies off the side of temples. If you got married at the 50-foot high Sri Santeswar temple in India, it's a tradition to return with your baby and throw them from the top onto a cloth that is held by both Muslims and Hindus below. These are some of the strangest traditions, but although they may seem absurd to some, they are a way of life for others, and natives believe that they have very good reasons for their actions. Look inside Spain's unusual baby jumping festival. This unorthodox baptism dates back to the 17th century and has roots in paganism. Once a year in mid-June, devils run wild in the Spanish village of Castillo de Murcia, a blend of Catholic and pagan rituals meant to represent the triumph of good over evil. The festival of El Calacho dates back to the 1620s and takes place on the Sunday after the feast of Corpus Christi. Its origins are unclear, but some historians believe it may have started as a fertility ritual. During the festival, red and yellow masked devils run through the streets hurling insults at villagers and whipping them with a horsetail attached to a stick. When drums announce the arrival of the black-clad Arabalero, pious men who have come to drive out evil, El Salto del Colacho, the flight of the devil, begins. In a heart-stopping display, babies born during the previous year are laid on mattresses in the street while the costumed men leap over them. A baptism of sorts, it is believed that the devil absorbs the sins of the babies and affords them protection from disease and misfortune. Spectators lining the streets will also berate Colacho in order to ward off their own bad luck for the upcoming year. Afterwards, the babies are sprinkled with rose petals and promptly reclaimed by their parents. Traditionally, the festival only included babies from the local village, but in recent years, people from around the world have traveled to northern Spain to participate. To date, there have been no reports of injuries. However, the practice remains a subject of debate within the Catholic Church. While we have explored a collection of intriguing and bizarre cultural practices from around the world, it's important to emphasize that these traditions are deeply rooted in their respective cultures and hold significant meaning to the communities that engage in them. However, it is crucial to note that some of these practices can be risky or potentially dangerous if not conducted under the proper supervision and guidance. We must always prioritize safety and respect when engaging with different cultural practices. It is essential to understand the context, history, and purpose behind these traditions before attempting to replicate them. Some practices require specific skills, training, or cultural understanding that cannot be easily replicated without proper guidance. Therefore, 
we encourage you to approach these cultural practices with an open mind, appreciation, and respect for the communities that cherish them. While it's fascinating to learn about these traditions, it's equally important to exercise caution and refrain from attempting to imitate them without the necessary knowledge and guidance. Remember, cultural diversity is a beautiful aspect of our world, and by celebrating and respecting these traditions from afar, we can foster understanding and promote global harmony. Let's be curious observers and enthusiasts, but always with a mindful and respectful approach. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the weird and wonderful cultural practices around the globe. Keep seeking knowledge, embracing diversity, and celebrating the unique traditions that make our world so fascinating. So fellow explorers, don't miss out on these captivating cultural experiences. Click like and subscribe, and join us on this incredible journey around the globe as we celebrate the weird and wonderful traditions that make our world so delightfully diverse.